You ask, we investigate. Heroin use has exploded over the last 10 years. In fact, deaths are up 600% in Milwaukee County. Viewers wrote to us wanting to know why the United States is not allowing access to a potential cure. Courtney Garris joins us now with more. Courtney. Carol and Mike, this so-called cure works so well, heroin addicts get clean almost instantly. But the problem is it's illegal in the United States and there are major risks involved. But we spoke to one young man who knew if he didn't do something drastic, he would end up dead. It's just peaceful, you know, the, the serenity, the tranquilness. Jake Smith didn't believe he would ever feel this way again. Just weeks ago, he only thought about one thing, heroin. I was in terrible shape, you know, using every day, just had lost probably 25 pounds. Jake got clean for a while using traditional treatments. He went to rehab and was put on Suboxone, but it didn't work for him. His heroin craving still dominated his life. It didn't take long from there till I started, you know, right back where I was shooting heroin, except for the relapse was more violent than the previous time. That's when Jake and his family considered another option, Ibogaine, a potent hallucinogenic drug that comes from a plant in Africa. It's said to greatly reduce withdrawal symptoms and drug cravings. The big problem, it's illegal in the U.S. I started looking into it. My parents looked into it. And I was like, you know, maybe there's something to this, but I was still very skeptical. But Jake was also desperate, his life out of control, so he decided to give it a try. Welcome to Ibogaine University. This clinic in Mexico has been treating drug addicts with Ibogaine for the past four years. It's medical tourism, which is very prominent down there. You come to Mexico, you do it in a place that's legal and safe, and then you go home clean and sober. It's staffed by former users and a full medical team. They pre-screen candidates and test the drug on them first. Then doctors give addicts one individualized dose of Ibogaine. You prevent the patient from going into physical withdrawals and also you prevent the patient from actually getting uh, the cravings to continue using again. It kind of resets the brain chemistry. Ibogaine University has seen more than 600 people and say they've never had a fatality, but the risks are there. Studies have shown one in 300 users of Ibogaine can die from it, mostly from heart failure. It's actually a very toxic substance. Dr. Michael Miller is an addiction therapist at Rogers Memorial Hospital. He says the side effects from this drug are just too dangerous. It's pretty certain that, that in the U.S., because we care about safety and efficacy, it'll never be approved as a therapeutic agent because of safety concerns. He's such a good boy. Jake spent about 10 days in Mexico and was amazed how he felt after his Ibogaine treatment. It got me clean overnight, took away all my withdrawals. I mean, it's a gift. Now Jake looks forward to each day and a future without drugs. He knows it won't be easy and hopes others hooked on heroin get the same chance he did. How many people with great potential are you losing on a daily basis due to, due, to, due to drugs that can be treated? I do know that I believe in what I went through and that it saved my life and that I know for a fact that it can save a lot of other people's lives. There has been very little research done on ibogaine, so experts are hesitant to call it a cure. Although if you talk to addicts, many will tell you once an addict, always an addict. But many of those who've used ibogaine, Mike and Carol, they do find that it's easier to stay clean. Mm. Well, that's good. Now, how much does this cost? I was kind of surprised. In Jake's case, he paid $7,500, but that included airfare to Mexico, lodging, and then all medical expenses, the really? treatment. Mm -hmm. Now it's bad. good to see he's doing better. He is doing yeah. better. Yeah, thanks, Courtney. Thanks, Courtney.